Greggy, they'll call back. Yeah? Hello? Hello, who is this? I'm waiting. I can hear you breathing. Go to hell. Are we gonna take some more pictures tonight, Greg? If you're looking for smokes, I just quit. Junk. I told you, I just quit. Well, so now I gotta go for smoke. You gotta have a cigarette? Yeah, I've gotta have a cigarette. Hey, whatever your problem is, get over it. Look, uh, I'm hungry. Why don't you make us something to eat or something? We're back in a few minutes. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! 
Lavish to one, cruel to another. It bestows favors, meets out punishment like an absolute dictator, not obliged to be fair. Still, the young come by the thousands, looking for something they can't find at home. What do you think, 18? Maybe 19? Maybe not even that. She is. Turned 18 two weeks ago. There's these, a pair of shoes and a coat. No other women's clothes. I guess that means she doesn't live here. Any keys? Yeah, I'll check it out. I wonder where the man of the house is. Maybe he wasn't home. There's an omelet for two still warm in the pan upstairs. Maybe he was. Anything fit? Not to this place. What do you think? Surprise the burglar? Kevin? Yeah. Frank? This entire place is covered with photographs of women. Cheap, unimaginative calendar stuff. And take a look over here. There's got to be thousands of dollars of equipment here. Cameras and lenses. I mean, this is the easiest stuff in the world to fence. All right, she didn't live here. No keys. Somebody would have had to let her in. She was cooking for two. All right, find out from the landlord who he was. Let's get an APB out on him. Yeah, I'll take care of it. The guy's probably down at the bus station already, looking for his replacement girl. You don't think he's a nice man? I think he's a vulture. Probably not even a nice vulture. That's Tracy Thorson. Huh. She is something. Let's see. What would Tracy Thorson be doing? It is Tracy. Now, what in the world would she be doing? Naked she came into the world. Naked she got her first start. I thought he had a gold mine. She's just a girl from the streets. This is front page news. Not quite yet. Huh? And we found this photo right by the bed there, and all the others were over there. I wonder why. Let's ask her. All I'm saying is that I don't want to see you rush into anything. I'm not rushing into anything. I'm rushing out. Out of a marriage and an agency, I've outgrown. Well, you outgrow things pretty quickly for a girl that started with nothing, don't you? What do you want me to say? That I appreciate everything you've done for me? Yeah, that would be nice for a start. I made you, Tracy. I can unmake you just as fast. That's enough, thank you. Winston, why do we have to have these scenes? That's what we have lawyers for. You and I stopped being man and wife a long time ago. Why do we have to drag it out? Because I still love you. <laughs> oh, please. If your agency won't survive my departure, that's not my problem. I'm not talking about the agency. And if you think that I'm going to sit back and let... Who the hell is that? As far as I'm concerned, this discussion is over. The marriage is over and the contract is over. Is that perfectly clear, Winston? Yes, what is it? Tracy Thorson. Yes. I'm Detective O'Brien. This is my partner, Detective Jambone. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Can we step in for a minute? What is this about? It'll just be a minute. Police! Oh, some trouble, my dear. I'm Winston Graves. Mr. Graves? How do you do? Hi. I'm Miss Thorson's loving husband. How can we help you, gentlemen? Do you know Gregory Devlin? The name is familiar. Uh, could you give me a clue? Oh, something from your blue period, my dear. Very nice. Yes, I knew Mr. Devlin. Sometimes when you start out in the business, you do things like this. I was wondering if you could tell us anything. I doubt if there's anything I can tell you. My fleeting connection was George Devlin. Gregory Devlin. Well, that's the point. Whatever his name was, I posed for some cheesecake pictures five, maybe six years ago. We didn't keep in touch. So many fleeting connections, you know. 
thanks very much for your time, Miss Thorson. If you do remember running into him a little more recently, don't hesitate to call. I don't see how that's possible, Detective Shambo. However, if I do hear from him, I'll certainly give you a call. Okay. Thanks. You want me to wait in the car? Thank you. That's it, Tracy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let me see it. Chin up. Chin up there. Oh, that's it. That's it. Beautiful. One more. One more. Let me see it. Let me see it. All right. Classic finish. Classic finish. Here we are, Tracy. Right, that's beautiful. Beautiful, Tracy. All right. That's it, everybody. Blue fire. Fragrance for tonight. Good thing they didn't call the damn thing napalm. <laughs> yeah, put on the blue sheet, will you, darling? How long do you need me? Don't worry about us, sweet. Just get yourself looking perfectly beautiful. All right, next time. Okay. Right. Tracy, Tracy, burning bright in the forests of the night. What immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry? What the hell are you doing here? I thought you might be worried about your photographs. Just wanted to let you know I still got them. I wasn't worried. Oh, the cops didn't talk to you? They asked if I knew where you were. They didn't say why. Someone broke into the studio. Now, between you and me, I think he was looking for certain negatives, depicting a certain... You don't think that I had anything to do with that. Can we stop playing games? Now, your burglar friend was a little bit sloppy. He left a dead girl in my bed. So let's just get to the point, shall we? What the hell are you talking about? The point is, the ante just went up. So you work out your little divorce with your little husband, but you make sure you take him for a very nice ride. Because I'm riding, too. When you had nothing, I took care of you. Well, now... You're gonna take care of me. I don't owe you anything. I'm a photographer. I take photographs. I sell them. Now, do you honestly think that those people out there are gonna want you peddling their perfume and shampoo and soap? Once the public has seen all of Tracy Thorson. How much do you want? Twenty-five thousand. For starters. Don't be ridiculous. I can always find another buyer. Maybe your almost ex-husband would be interested. You bastard. We had an agreement. Yeah. That was an agreement. This is blackmail. There's one other point of business, and it's not a pleasant one. There's going to be rumors. Maybe there already are. Anyway, we have to be prepared for it. <clears throat> Tracy and I are getting divorced. She probably won't be staying with the agency. You all know how things like this can spread like wildfire once it starts. Well, it doesn't have to start if we're prepared for it. And that means that each of you Contact your key clients and convince them that the agency is still strong. That may be a little tougher than you make it sound. Didn't anybody ever tell you that only the tough survive in this business? And I only want the toughest of those in this agency. Well, what are you talking to us for? What? Well, none of our clients are walking out. I don't like that attitude. I don't like what Winston, I'm hearing. I don't like help. anything that I'm hearing around here. Maybe you should all listen to me. If you all would get your acts together, maybe we wouldn't be so vulnerable to the whims of one client. Winston, that's Take enough. It. 
All right. I think we can all understand how difficult this situation is. But I think with a little bit of diligence, a little bit of dedication, we're going to get through this thing. Uh, meeting's adjourned. Okay, Winston. Are you ready to listen to reason? Reason or capitulation? I know it's difficult when you've got a business relationship as well as a marriage. Oh, you do. But you've lost clients before, Winston. All right, not as big as Tracy. But Winston Graves and Associates will go on. Oh, is that a vote of confidence? Excuse me. But yeah, that's a possibility. But it's not a possibility I'm becoming optimistic about if you insist on carrying this thing out. Let her go, Winston. Let her go. For yourself as well as the agency. Are you finished now, John? You finished? Yeah. And you can listen to me. That little tramp couldn't get her bare bottom on a pack of playing cards before I took over her career. I invented Tracy Thorson. And if she thinks that she's walking out of here with one dime, more than she walked in with, with one stick of furniture or with one contract, she's in for a hell of a surprise. Now, is that a problem for you, John? I want you to tell me, because there's a lot of lawyers in the phone book, you know. No, that's no problem for me, Winston. Good. Uh, it's getting late. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Down the hall, through the door, to the right. Thank you. Just that. You don't need a detective, do you? I mean, a nice blue uniform to do with that. Hi. Is there some place we can talk? Frankie. Need some help? I have up my place. All right. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, please give the ladies some room. Coming through. Over here to your left. I heard the cops showed you a photograph. Doesn't do her justice. Athletic little creature, isn't she? Ah, oh, there was a young lady named Tracy whose appetites were very spacey. <laughs> what do you want? Just striking my blow for beleaguered husbands. She would have a hard time leaving the agency that held those, don't you think? Just blackmail, Devlin? <laughs> no! No! What you would be doing would be blackmail. I'm simply giving you the means with which to do it. Of course, you have to outbid the lady herself. Think about it. I'll be in touch. Yes, Mr. Graves? How the hell did that man get in here? Well, Ferdy says he was a friend of your wife's. Well, tell Ferdy to come in right away. That's refreshing. Oh, uh, really? I, um, uh, usually have a beer. I have beer? Why haven't you said? Let me guess, you prefer it in a glass. Bottle's fine. Thanks. Now, why don't you tell me what's bothering you? Just like Ginger Rogers. Just like that. Frank, I lied to you yesterday. But not talking to Devlin? He called a few days ago. I told you I hardly knew him. That wasn't the truth either. We lived together for a while when I first came to town. He 
said he'd show me the ropes. He took an interest. He said he was going to... I don't know. I just don't know why I didn't want you to know that. As a detective? No. As a friend? I guess I'm not very proud of my relationship with Greg. That's not the truth either. Come on, Tracy. It was something I didn't want anyone to find out about. I was all messed up, Frank. I was just a kid. Greg was like a, a brother, father, lover. It was wonderful at first. <laughs> he got me some bookings. And then he asked me to pose for some pictures. The kind you wouldn't want your parents to see. And I did it. I can't say that he forced me. But Greg never took the pictures to sell them. That wasn't why he took them. And then after I signed with Winston, I was starting to catch on. He'd call. Very apologetic. Said he had no choice, but he needed the money. So I'd give him a little something to tide him over. Until the next time. They call that blackmail. All I knew is that I was doing really well and he was flat broke. I never gave him that much anyway. And then a little while ago, he started hinting that he wanted more. A lot more. Like what? Thousands. And then he added a new wrinkle. He was going to take those pictures to Winston if I didn't come through. He knew how much that would hurt me. Bastards. Both of them. Winston would do absolutely anything to get his hands on those pictures now. See the kind of men I attract? We should pick up Trace. Maybe your luck's changing. Hi, guys. Thank you. Something burning? Can you smell it? Is it blue fire, the fragrance for tonight? Hey, come on, man. Don't give Frankie a hard time. He's tasteless, you know what I mean, Frankie? It doesn't make sense to kid a dude like that. We are grown men. Hey, yo, baby, just tell us the number. How is she on a scale of 1 to 10? What? OK, I understand, baby. I'm cool. Write it down, right no, here no, on the pad. No, 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 come on, it. Frank. I wasn't even there. I'd give her a 9. What's the closest you've ever been to a 9, Freddy? Uh, three threes? Oh, <laughs> you know how to hurt a guy. Seven. As it turns out, Tracy was blackmailed. What, the photos? She and Devlin lived together. She got her to pose for a bunch of photos. Nudes, other men, you name it. Frank, why did she tell you this? She's just a concerned citizen, or is it your overwhelming charm? Maybe she wants to help us. But help who? I mean, what's the deal here? We get the photos and we make them disappear? Yeah, and why the hell shouldn't we keep them away from the press? Look, she didn't know she was getting involved with this guy. She was young. He's blackmailing her. Tracy just wants it stopped. Tracy, Tracy, Frank, we're talking about an 18-year-old girl who never got to be 19. That's what we're trying to figure out here. What the hell does she have to do with that? You want to know a quicker way to stop blackmail? Come on, why would she tell us about the blackmail then? Come on, Frank, I think we're talking about the motive here. Devlin's a weasel. That means a lot of people with motives. Frank, we're trying to narrow it down. All right. Her husband. What, he knew that Devlin had a stash of porno shots? He could have. I mean, she was married to him for six years, and she could have confided in him. Wait a second. Isn't the husband usually the guy the blackmailer threatens to show the pictures to? Or am I a little cloudy about how blackmail works? All right. All right, listen. Well? They're getting a divorce, and she's leaving his agency. When this girl talks, she talks. Any other family secrets she let you in on? Yeah, we just listen a minute, because this isn't going to be a secret very long. That's what they were fighting about when we walked in on him. And? He's panicked. He thinks it'll ruin his life if she leaves. If he could just get his hands on these photographs, she couldn't leave, could she? Come on. I don't know, Frankie. She hadn't filed a complaint. Or is she? I wasn't with you two when you worked this thing out last night. Look, she'd rather not come in and make a statement, if that's what you mean. 
Something ain't right with Graves, Lieutenant. According to who? Pretty lady? As far as we know, Winston Graves doesn't even know the photos exist. Well, we showed him one of them the night of the homicide. And? He wasn't even surprised when Kevin pulled it out of his pocket. And the other pictures are worse. You already admitted that. I think we may be barking up the wrong tree, Jim. Maybe Frank's right. If this is a blackmail thing, then Devlin's gonna get in touch with someone. Let's put Carson and Colby on the husband, see what pops up. All right. They got the job. And put Christine with your friend, in case Devlin tries to get in touch with her again. Right. And, uh, Frankie, I'm not doing this whole thing just to promote your love life, am I? I think I've got the contracts right this time. Let's see. You can't let a contract like this go through. It's a one-sided option. It... Yeah. It's me. Where are you? Never mind that. Just listen. Now, if you want my little photo album... And the negatives. Yeah, and the negatives. There's a movie theater at the corner of South and Fifth. Be there. When? Just be there. Take in the show or something. I'll get there when I get there. Look, can we skip the small talk, Greg? I'm kind of in a hurry. That's my girl, right down to business. All right. So did you get what you were supposed to get? Part of it. That's all I can get right now. Well, it better be enough to keep me happy. I don't know what makes you happy. I want those negatives. I want this to all be over. Over? Hey, come on. I mean, you just take care of that body, you take care of that face, and you'll make enough to keep us both happy. Goodbye, Greg. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you were smarter than that. Where do you want to meet? There's a parking garage at the corner of 5th and South. Be there. And we're something pretty. You are one hell of a negotiator. You don't know Greg. If you gave in that easy, you can bet he's got the negatives duped. Kevin?
Where are they? 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 It's all right, I'm a doctor. Carson, go ahead. Okay. Police, Mr. Grace, we'd like you to come with us. What's this all about? Why don't we talk about that downtown? Thorson, this is Elaine Jeffers, an assistant DA. A pleasure. How do you do? Uh, Miss Thorson needs to get away from her fans for a few moments. I'd like to talk to you for a minute, too, okay? Um, make yourself at home, well, such as it is. Okay, Might be a good idea if you called your lawyer. So, that's really her. Uh-huh. I use the shampoo she sells. There must be two different kinds of formulas. <laughs> I already told you that. Don't tell me again. I know Devlin. I know everyone in the business, but he's not the sort that I would have any dealings with. What sort's that? Why don't you ask my wife if you're that interested? She used to be fairly intimate with him. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I believe that you know exactly what that means. Well, you getting anything? Not even breaking a sweat. So, what have we here? A husband and wife, both with motives for both killings? Mm -hmm. Nice couple. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a pretty good basis for marriage. Yeah, except we had them both under observation when Devlin was shot. Maybe one of them hired the killer. Yeah, but which one? Why don't you tell me where you were the night before last? The night before last? Yeah. Uh, the night before last, uh, I was with some clients and then I went to see Tracy. You can back that up? Well, I'd rather not bring the clients into it if I don't have to, and I believe that you and your partner can testify that I was with Tracy. Hmm? You don't trust me, do you, Detective O'Brien? I know you've got my partner wrapped around your little finger, and I don't know why you'd do that unless you got something to hide. Well, at least you're honest. But I don't think I could wrap Frank around anything. And I don't think you give him enough credit. Maybe. Miss Thorson, this is not going to go away until you tell us everything. I thought I had. What is it you're unclear on, Detective? Well, for one thing, why are you so sure that your husband killed Devlin? Because I know how much he wanted those pictures. We had him under surveillance when Devlin was killed. And he hired someone. Maybe. You could have hired someone too, right? I mean, you wanted those pictures just as much as he did. More. But I didn't hire anyone to kill him. Once more. Where were you meeting Devlin? Why would I meet Devlin? So you went to a movie. Apparently, that's where your men pick me up. In Chinese? Apparently, yes. What do you got in the briefcase? My papers. And money? Perhaps a little. Then you wouldn't mind me taking a look? No, 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 I wouldn't mind. Good. If you have a warrant. That's exactly what we're gonna do, wise guy. And what you got to be worried about is that the cash we find in here, you can't account for. All right, you're right. Devlin called me and asked me to meet him. That's better. That's much better. Why? Pictures, of course. He wanted to sell them to me. And you said yes, of course. Of course. And you wanted to use them against your wife for blackmail, right? Blackmail my wife? How ridiculous. To protect her from the blackmailer. You're lying. I said to protect her, detective. You think I was going to sit back and let some two-bit extortionist destroy my best client? You wanted to screw her to a wall and you know it. He can't badger him that way. I don't know anything of the kind. And 
neither do you. And even if I did, I don't think that you could hold me for suspicion of intending to blackmail someone. I don't want you for blackmail. I want you for homicide. What? Phone call, Frank. I'm not through with you yet. Yes, you are. He's lying, Lieutenant. It won't mean anything if you catch him at it. What that made way. me think there wasn't any phone call? We're on the same team, Frank. We're trying. We're trying to, to solve a couple of homicides, damn it. Since when do we start treating these creeps with kid gloves? Let's not get our heads so turned by a. By what? Go ahead, say it. By extraneous matters that we end up with inadmissible statements. This isn't my first case, you know. I know what I'm. Well, thinking. I know I'm getting tired of listening to this, and I'm sure he is too. Where's Tracy? Sent her home. You sent her home? Frank, I couldn't get anything out of her either. Either. To you, they're both the same? If somebody had Devlin killed, I don't know who. You think you'd do? I bet your sweet life on me. Frank. Hey. Just like Ginger Rogers. Just like that I stand. Dancing on the silver screen. Castles in the air. Just when we believe that happiness is there, here comes the symphony. Happy birthday, princess. So, how beautiful is beautiful, Kevin? She's in the top ten. Is she a hit single? She's going flat. Go on, tell her, tell her. What's Tracy Thorson got that she hasn't got? Yeah, yeah. Got about two million dollars. And men throwing themselves at her all the time. Oh, I throw myself at you all the time. Oh. Can I see your bruises? <laughs> I'm a reporter. <laughs> it must be a very tricky existence. I mean, you know, uh, being bought and sold and produced and marketed and uh, I couldn't take it. I think I heard about enough of this. What is the matter with him tonight? Tell you what's the matter with me. All of a sudden, we get a case involving a pretty girl, and it's the only topic of conversation. Frank! Frank, we are investigating a homicide, right? Two homicides, and we have two suspects, and one of them is her. Do you know what it's like living with something like that over your head? Devil and that husband of hers, he could ruin her. She's such a sweetheart. How come she keeps getting involved with all these creeps? And what about your involvement in this? You've been thinking about that a little? So she makes mistakes. She's not perfect. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, hey, where are you going? I'm gonna go and talk to her. Frank, do yourself a favor. Stay away from her until it's cleared up. All right, I'm gonna go and question her. Isn't that what cops are supposed to do, question the suspects? One part of my life I hope I never hear about again. Ancient history, huh? I hope so. Would you like a drink? Close, but not quite. Ferdy. Ah. What the hell's the matter with you? You can't give me that faithful wife crap anymore. What? Oh, Ferdy, I can't. Who do you want? I mean, I just what? don't. What? You don't know what you oh, mean. Oh, hey, Oh, for you. I, do, I can make you feel good. No, I can make no, you feel no, real good. Oh, don't, you feel no, good? Hey, no, 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 no
Tracy. Tracy. Tracy, all right? Let's be frank. They put the news on the front page, and then you turn to my column, and maybe I explain it. I think that's the way it's supposed to work. Only sometimes I can't explain it. I can't explain why death is drawn to beauty like a moth to flame. I've just seen it happen enough to know it's true. It's gonna be fine, okay? It's gonna be all right. He shot her, and then he shot himself. All right, let's let Freddie wrap this all up. We're gonna have to make a statement later, yeah? Nothing makes sense anymore. What is that? What are you doing? Some people will tell you there's a connection between sex and violence. You can think that, if you like simplifications. The connection that matters is the one we've always known about, between beauty and ugliness, sin and salvation. The list is long of things we'll kill for, as long as a lifetime. And I feel the